Hey guys, welcome back to Top 10 Nerd. I'm Kelly Pally, and today we're back at it with more flash facts. Our last few videos have been focused on specific members of the Flash family, so today we're taking a broader look at the Flash, including some neat facts about his publication history and the awesome editors, illustrators, and writers behind him. So let's jump right in. At number 10 we've got Carmine Infantino. Meet the man responsible for some of the most iconic Flash covers, Carmine Infantino. In 1956, when DC editor Julius Schwartz asked Infantino to help revive some of their golden age heroes, Infantino designed the red uniform with yellow details that you all know and love today. He's also responsible for creating the visual language that depicted the Flash's speed, using both vertical and horizontal lines to make the figure a red and yellow blur. Speaking of editors, in our number 9 spot is Julius Schwartz. As we've mentioned in our other lists, Schwartz was the man behind the iconic Flash of Two Worlds issue. This issue of The Flash featured a cover by Infantino that contained the Golden Age Flash, Jay Garrick, running alongside Silver Age Flash, Barry Allen. Schwartz had an uncanny ability to take whatever covers his artists gave him and weave stories out of them. And this one in particular led Schwartz to introduce Earth 2, which opened the Pandora's box for the concept of the multiverse. He even titled his biography Man of Two Worlds. Cute. And at number 8 we have The Flash and Circle. Here's an awkward coincidence for you guys. Did you know that this was the symbol for the British Union of Fascists? It was also adopted by the American National Renaissance Party after the Nazi symbol fell out of style. Ugh. It shares a striking similarity to the Flash emblem. While there is no relation between the two, it has created some awkward confusion in the past. But the Scarlet Speedster isn't the only one who's had to deal with that. A company called Bolt Bus, a joint venture by Greyhound and Peter Pan Bus Lines, also shares a strikingly similar logo in the O of their company name. And at number 7 we have logos. Speaking of logos, did you know that the logo for the Flash title appearing on the cover of the comic books has changed over 12 times? The variations have all incorporated the original slanted font that first appeared in 1940 Flash comics. After the Golden Age, the word comics was dropped, with the Silver Age using the name The Flash, and Post Crisis opted out for just Flash. Until 1995, that is. That's not including the two all Flash comic titles between 1941 and 1948, and the similar fonts Impulse used for its title logo between 1995 and 2002. And at 6, the most expensive Flash comic. Back in 2012, an issue of Flash Comics number 1 from 1940 sold for $450,000. It had a CGC rating of 9.6, which is near perfect condition. It was the first appearance of the Flash, Jay Garrick, in the Golden Age, and also featured the first appearance of another hero, Hawkman. Up next, number five, we have Iris West Allen. So we've talked a lot about the other members of the Flash family in our previous list, but what about Iris? A staple character in Barry Allen's story since her appearance in 1956, it wasn't until 1966 in the Flash 165 that we discovered she was born in the 30th century and had been sent back to the present shortly before Earth East attacked Earth West. She's also been killed by Professor Zoom when attending a costume party. She dressed up as Girl, when Zoom faced his hand through her head. Ugh, yeah. At number four, we have The Dark Knight Strikes Again. In the follow up to Frank Miller's The Dark Knight Returns, Barry Allen makes an appearance, but is living a pretty grim reality. Lex Luthor is using him as an energy source, having him constantly run on a treadmill to provide cheap electrical power. And why does he do it? Well, Luthor threatens to kill Iris. Eventually, he's rescued by Batman and Co. and dons a black version of his Flash costume. And at number three, we have Adam Brody. While there's been a handful of actors to take on the helm of the Scarlet Speedster, there was one who was cast as the Flash, but never made his debut. We're talking about Adam Brody, you know, the dude who played Seth from the OC. The film was titled Justice League Mortal and was supposed to be directed by George Miller, but due to the Writers Guild strike and the Australian Film Commission refusing to house filming over tax rebate conflicts, the film was never made. Tough luck, Seth. Tough luck. In our number two spot, we have cancellations. The Flash is one of the most iconic characters of the DC universe, but did you know that his series has been canceled and rebooted eight times? Barry Allen's first Flash series was canceled after the events of Crisis on Infinite Earths when he died. Wally West succeeded him in 1987, and the series was briefly canceled during the Infinite Crisis event, and then restarted in 2007, and then was canceled again in 2008 with Barry's return in the Flash Rebirth. Jay Garrick's Flash comics and All Star Flash were both canceled too. The first in 1949 after 104 issues, and the latter in 1948 after just 32 issues. And currently, the fifth volume of The Flash began as part of DC's Rebirth. And finally at our top spot, we have The Physics of The Flash. We all know that The Flash is capable of becoming instantly fast, but as James Kakalois, a physicist at the University of Minnesota, has pointed out, is that his accelerating that fast is quite impossible and therefore Barry would need other super abilities in order to maintain that speed and live through it. Kakalois is the author of The Physics of Superheroes and has stated that the rate Barry accelerates would be the equivalent of having 
having your body smashed by a car, or rather a supersonic plane. So in order to exist, he would need superhuman reflexes, superhuman eyesight, and superhuman anti-static cling in order to function in a more reality-based world. And even that would be a stretch. Now there's a scientific argument to all of these that we had to skip over, because otherwise we'd be here all day. But give James a Google or check out his book if you want to find out more. So there we have it. Still digging all these flash facts? Do you guys want more? Give us a shout below and tell us who you want us to do the next video on. And don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons on your way out. I've been Kelly Pally for Top 10 Nerd, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.